All right, guys, welcome back. So today we got a new vehicle and we got a new color. We're doing one of the Broncos. And this is the uh, smaller version of the Bronco, but we're gonna shoot a new vehicle today and shoot a new color. So let's get into it. All right, guys, we're over here in the booth now and I'll show you the parts that we're doing for that Bronco. So we have a new fender, a little repair on the end of this bumper here. We're doing a blend on the rear door. We got a new grill and this is actually a satin metallic. We gotta do a dark gray satin metallic on this. And then we got a new door. And the reason I'm gonna shoot this one with you guys today is, is because it's a new color and it's a new vehicle. So when you're shooting these newer vehicles, make sure that you look at all your edges and, and observe you know, the panel because some of these panels are different than most of the uh, vehicles we're used to shooting. And you wanna make sure you get all your edges and go around all these edges the right way because they're new to us so look at the flat panel on the top of that there so if you're light with your paint and you're you know considering you having a small one like the normal cars do you'll be light on your paint so make sure you definitely check over when you're doing a newer vehicle here the edges the way the car has different body lines see how this curves around in here make sure you get paint on everything go around your edges and no matter what vehicle you're painting you want to go around your edges, but you definitely want to definitely take more concern on something that you haven't shot before. So when I'm doing a new vehicle, I like to go look at the actual parts that were on the vehicle to see how it all fits up. That way I know that I don't miss anything. So we'll shoot this one. We'll try out our new uh, spray out card holder, check the color and spray a new job together. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So all the parts have been prep sold and waterborne clean. And now we're gonna get into our tacking of it. And I found some of the older crystal tack rags because the waterborne ones are on back order. So we're gonna tack it up and then we'll start sealing it. and sprayed our uh, spray out card with sealer on half of it that way we can check the coverage on the white side to see how good this color covers so this is the only job I'm doing in this booth here it's the last one of the day so that's why I'm actually checking my color and shooting it at the same time because you guys know I usually have my spray out cards dialed in before the job goes in the booth that's the best way you want to do it to maximize your booth but I'm the only painter here and this is the only job going through this booth right now. So this is standard. They don't have any other chips, but standard for this color. So if we have to, we'll tint it, but we're gonna check it first on our card and uh, get this thing shot. So let's go through with the base coat now. And the funny thing is that the name of this color is Area 51. So I'm hoping we're not gonna be dealing with any crazy stuff going on because you guys know about that Area 51. So <laughs> let's go ahead and shoot this thing with the base. All right, we went ahead and put the one coat of the base on with that 3M Performance with the one, two. And you can definitely tell here with the spray out that this color covers very well. So we're not gonna have to worry about a coverage issue with this color. And we went over that medium dark gray. So definitely covered well over that. And you can see here on the white, you can't even tell that there's a difference between the sealer or the actual card that's white itself. So we're gonna let this thing dry, uh, dry up a little bit, tack up. And then we'll be checking this color. We'll bring this over, look at it on the vehicle, make sure we're good before we clear it. And we're gonna put one more on top of this color here, uh, another coat. So we won't need to put too much paint on this one, especially the way this one's covering. So we put one, we'll put one more, we'll blend it out and then we'll clear it. But let's check this color in the meantime and make sure we're good. You always wanna check your color before you clear the job. Just don't spray a card. Make sure you check it and check it well. So. 
And we also have to spray this here with the uh, flat metallic gray. So let's do that also. All right, guys, so now we're gonna check the car, make sure the color matches to our uh, panel on the vehicle. You guys seen we went ahead and cleared it. Make sure you clear it, and that color looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and put our last coat of base on it. That way we can get this thing cleared. So make sure you check your color before you put that last coat of base. That way if you have to tint something, you can go ahead and do it. But that color looks good, so we're gonna be good with this one. So we'll mark this and we'll have it for later when we need to do this color again. All right, so our base is all flashed. We went ahead and put our, our uh, gray on this here front grill panel. And when we do this one here, we're mixing in the matte clear. Add it into the CC200 on the mixture and it'll give it a nice eggshell appearance and that's what we're going for on this one. So we're mixing up our normal CC200 for the body. And then on this one, we've mixed up a small batch with this matte in it, that way we get our desired uh, sheen on it so you guys want to make sure you get your sheens right even on your grills and on the cladding pieces because it really sets the job apart when that thing has the right gloss so make sure you do it satin when it needs to be satin eggshell and even flat you have the capabilities of mixing this in to get whatever desired uh, finish you're looking for so we'll put that on this and we'll clear this thing up and check it out All right, we got our clear on there and we also put our matte clear on the uh, grill. So I'm gonna let this thing set up and I'll bring you back in here to show you how nice this will look once this thing dies out a little bit. So see you in a minute. All right, let's check out that satin. But look at how nice it eggshells out once it sets up a little bit. So it's got the perfect sheen for that factory look on these grills. And I like using the eggshell one, so job came out nice. The cleared parts look nice and clean. They got the right texture to them. And we got our spray out now for next time. I don't know if I showed you guys the code was KU. And this isn't a metallic, it's just a solid bluish gray. So the chip looked good. They didn't have any chips, so we sprayed it out. And now we have our own, so we could use this again if we have to. So. I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.